wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another tail Sniffing out adventure With wishbone on the trail Come on, wishbone What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? Over here, Joe! I've got a lead on some leftovers! Wishbone, come on, we're going home now. Hey, I'm on a food recovery mission, Joe. Work with me here, okay? <gasps> Look, Joe, a bag of food! We're rich! I hereby claim this bag in the name of... Me. Hmm. Move over, doggy. What? Hey, that's my bag! Get away from there, Wishbone. Hey, Ellie. Hello, Joe. This your dog? Uh, yeah. He's pretty cute. Pretty cute? I think she means dashingly <laughs> handsome. Uh -huh. What are you doing with all that food? Oh, I, uh, I'm... Can you keep a secret? Sure. I'm stealing it. <gasps> a thief! What? I'm not stealing it for myself. I'm taking it to the food bank at the homeless shelter. But I've got to be sneaky about it because it's against the rules. What rules? Mr. Bison, Mr. Supervisor of Food Services, says we have to throw the food out after it's been here over a week. Even if it's perfectly good to eat, go straight to the dumpster. He wants to throw away food? Oh, we need to have a serious chat. You mean it just goes to waste? Bingo. So I started thinking to myself, Ellie, I thought, why not hide the food till after everybody's gone and give it to people who really need it? Let me help you. Oh, no, Joe, I, I don't want to get you into trouble. I'm breaking the rules, you know. Breaking the rules for a good cause. Just like the legendary Robin Hood, champion of the underdog. The legends of Robin Hood started in England during the Middle Ages. In all the songs and stories of Robin Hood, his target is injustice. Legend has it that Robin Hood was once a wealthy nobleman, but he turned outlaw in order to help the poor and oppressed people of England. Robin Hood lived in Sherwood Forest with a band of free men who were all dedicated to helping the poor survive the cruelty of the rich. You see, England was in bad shape. Good King Richard had been captured overseas and held for ransom. While he was away, the fat cats had taken over. Halt! Stand and deliver! Here now, peasant. How do you dare to stop me? I am Lord Pigleby. And I am a simple forester who demands that you pay a fair toll for passing on my highway. We have no time for such foolishness. Kill him. Then let's do press on. It's nearly nightfall. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I am Robin Hood. Now let's try this again. Why don't you tell me how much money you're carrying, and we'll agree to a fair toll. Be honest with me, and I'll be fair with you. We are but a few poor pilgrims making our way towards York. All we have, we carry in this little purse. Really? Well, if you are a poor pilgrim, I'll double your money. But if you're lying, you lose everything. Oh, little John! <laughs> Search the carriage. Right away, Your Hoodness. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Did you hear that, my merry men? He says he can't allow it. What say you? Oh, go ahead. Search the carriage. You'll find nothing. Really, nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Robin! Look here. <laughs> Nothing, eh, my lord? I found this under the sea. I... I warned you not to lie to me. 
I've never seen that before. It must have accidentally been left there by the people who had the carriage before us. Uh, I just rented it this morning, truly. Don't hurt me. Well then, we'll just take it and make sure it gets back to its rightful owner. Thank you. And now I think you'd best be off. Go! Oh! You can't escape the law forever, Robin Hood. I'll tell the Sheriff of Nottingham, then he'll get you. When did they start decorating carriages with fat men? Must be a new fashion. <laughs> All right. Well done. Little John, you must send one third of this money to help pay the King's ransom. Yes, Your Robinus. The sooner he can pay his ransom, the sooner he can return to England to set things right. All of you. Take a little to give to the poor of your villages. I'll take the rest to give to the poor in Nottingham. We will all meet at the camp this evening. My merry men, I thank you all. Okay, Vu, listen closely. We've got to get you to the shelter. You and I are going to make a break for it around the back, then I'll divert... Hey, wait, come back, not yet! Here's the last of it for today. I do appreciate your help. It really saves my back. <laughs> this will feed a lot of people. It most certainly will not. And the no good award for selfishness goes to... Mr. Bison. Ellie, I've had my eye on you. I believe you know my position on the issue of these food donations. You got my memo. But we just wanted to take the food to the food bank down at the shelter. What's wrong with that? You have no idea how much paperwork there is involved for me. You need special supervision to transmit non-canned foodstuffs from one institution to another. It's all very complicated. You have to set up a special program. Let's set up the program. I'm afraid we don't have the time. But maybe we could... No be... time. That's my decision. Principal Leonard always talks about how important volunteers and donations are. She'd let us take the food. Principal Leonard has been delayed at her educational conference. In her continued absence, my decision is final. But you can help in one way. How? You can help Ellie. Take this food and put it into that dumpster over there. Why, that pencil-pushing, food-wasting such-and-such. Do I have to supervise this as well? Oh, you want something to supervise. Try this! <laughs> the dog in the cafeteria, that's unsanitary. Come back here! Wait! We can't give up now. You don't have to do this. I know. Lost him back by the frozen foods. Come on! Mmm, food bank. Is that about it, Joe? Yeah, I think so. Good. Joe? Miss Gilmore, what are you doing here? Well, I volunteer. I didn't know you were having a food drive. Oh, boy. Don't just stand there. Somebody make an excuse. Well, it's a uh, kind of a uh, surprise. Hey, not bad. Well, everything is still packaged, and it's probably okay. I just need to keep our records straight. Records, 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 records. This is my first day up front here. I uh, usually work with the canned food. We had better be going now. Oh, wait, please. I just need to get you to sign a release. Well, we want to remain anonymous donors. That's what I usually do. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I wish I knew more about this. <gasps> okay. Um... Just tell me where he got the food. Oh, get ready for quick excuse number two. Who wants to take this one? You know she doesn't trust me, so... Can that be anonymous, too? Oh, well... A person can be, but I think we have to know where the food came from or we can't accept it. It's from our cafeteria at school. How nice! You have a new program, huh? Okay. Who wants to sign the release? I will. So much for being anonymous. Sometimes, when you're doing a good deed, you need to be undercover. Robin Hood had to be a master of disguise, because the evil Sheriff of Nottingham was always on the lookout for him. What are you waiting for? Give it to me now. Robin would sneak into Nottingham to make sure that the money he took from the rich went to the poor. Pots! Who will buy my pots? Nice, unsuspicious pots for sale. Oh, 
about you, dear lady? Here you are, Mum. Why don't you try this bowl? Yes, it is I, Robin Hood. Now go tell those who need it most to sample my pots. <laughs> there you are, my good man. Here's one I made especially for you. Pots! Plain, ordinary pots! A very good day for you, isn't it, peddler? Not bad, my lord, not bad. I don't believe I've seen you here before. Oh, I arrived only today. Mm. Well, since you prosper, I'm sure you won't mind paying my special tax. Oh, Sir Billy, I've had such a hard day already. I came through Sherwood Forest, I did, and I stumbled upon the camp of that rascal Robin Hood. And he stole half my pots. Robin Hood, you've been to his camp? Yes, indeed, sir. I'll never forget it. Uh, tell me, could you find your way back there, peddler? If I capture Robin Hood, I'll reward you. I'll take you and your men there at once. No, no, no. no. Uh, I'll go alone to scout the location that my men can return and stamp out the villain. Come, show me. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. This is the villain's camp. <laughs> when I capture Robin Hood, I will be sheriff for life. Nothing will stop me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't afford to share the glory. No witnesses. Here now, that's no way to treat someone who's just helped you. Oh. Is it, Little John? Indeed it isn't, Robin. <laughs> it's downright rude. That's right. And you Robin Hood, at your service, sir. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, please, spare my life, please. <laughs> Oh, I can't stand to see a grown sheriff cry. There, there, there. Now then, why don't you just hand over that purse of yours? Good, good. And how about all of those nice clothes? We could use some nice clothes. Hmm, Little John, might we have something for the good sheriff to wear home? Well... With those eyes and that skin tone, it's a challenge. But, uh, I think I have just the thing. <laughs> Did you find Robin Hood, sir? <laughs> ah! Sorry, sir! <laughs> Anyone have any more questions? You won't find Ellie here anymore, Joe. Where is she? Well, that's an interesting question. Before I answer, perhaps you'll answer mine. Where were you yesterday? What do you mean? I received this receipt from the food bank, as well as a thank you for our donation. I didn't make a donation. In fact, I expressly forbade it. Where's Ellie? The form has your signature. But where's Ellie? You helped her willfully disobey her employer. I had to fire her. Hey, Joe. Come on, buddy. It's not so bad. Cheer up. It's a beautiful day outside. We can go back to the food bank. Mm. Joe, what's wrong? It's awful. But what happened? You know, Ellie, the lunch lady. Sure. She knows about my allergies. And so she always takes the coconut off my cupcakes for me. Yeah, she always gives me extra pineapple on our fruit cups. Well, I got her fired. What? How? Hmm. I smell a bison. I helped her take some of the leftover cafeteria food to the homeless shelter. 
But Mr. Bison found out, and he fired Ellie. Well, he can't do that. Yes, he can. Principal Leonard's out of town, so we didn't have to ask anyone. Well, Principal Leonard gets back this afternoon. Maybe we can ask her if that's it. When Principal Leonard gets back, I'll tell her that it was all my fault and that Ellie should get her job back. If you do that, you could get suspended, Joe. But we just can't let Mr. Bison win like that. He's wrong. Joe's right. We have to do something. Maybe there's something we can all do. Hello. Excuse me. Hey, everybody, listen up. Thanks. Listen, today at lunchtime, you'll all go into the cafeteria. But today, Ellie won't be there. She was fired this morning. Yesterday, she went out of her way to donate some of our leftover food to the hungry. But since that's against regulations, she was fired. She was always nice to all of us, and you guys know it. Yeah, and that food just would have been thrown away. I helped her, and today I'm not having any lunch. I'm going to walk right by that line and right through those doors to wait for Principal Leonard to come back. Heads up, Joe. There's something rotten on the playground. Joe Talbot, stop this at once. You are already in serious trouble. Ellie deserves her job back. Yeah, and we're going to help her get it. I can't say what you'll do, but I know what I'm going to do. Young man, do not toy with me. I dare you to say one more word. the right thing, Joe. Just like Robin Hood. In Nottingham, the evil sheriff dared Robin Hood to show his face. He held a huge archery competition, knowing that Robin Hood wouldn't be able to resist showing up to win it. beloved, the beautiful Maid Marian, was able to see through all of his clever disguises. Your aim is true, good farmer. Well, I'm no Robin Hood, but thank you, fair lady. You'd be better off if you were no Robin Hood. Oh, Robin, can't you see that this is a trap? <laughs> Relax, my good lady. Half of the farmers here are very merry men, if you get my meaning. Besides, who can turn down a challenge like this? <laughs> Attention! The time has come for the final round. There are only two contestants remaining. Our own Nigel of the Guard. <clears throat> and the mysterious farmer, uh, unobtrusio of nowhere to... This is the final target. May the best man's arrow fly true. Begging all your pardons, but this Nigel is a fine archer. What do you say we call it a draw? I wouldn't want to embarrass anybody. There will be no draws. There will be a winner, farmer. Unless, of course, your shot lands exactly as close as Nigel's. <laughs> if you say so, my lord. Well, I guess it is a tie. Let's hear it for Nigel. Step forward, good farmer, and receive your reward. That's no way to reward the winners! We're outnumbered! Back to the forest! I think you need to stay here with me, my lady. No! Robin! What? Marion, I'm coming! Ah, not now, your Robinliness. You'd never even get near her. Come on. Don't worry, Robin. We'll figure something out. If only I'd taken her with us. I should have. 
If only I knew that she was all right. If I had some kind of sign. It's from the sheriff. No kidding. What does it say? It's ridiculous. He wants you to give yourself up in exchange for Maid Marian's freedom. Done! Robin, he'll kill you! I have a better chance of escaping than poor Marian. I've made up my mind. I'm going. Don't try to follow me, men! Follow him. Well, I suppose you're pretty proud of yourself. I guess no one was hungry. Oh, very funny. After your little speech on the playground today, I put in a call to your mother. We can't have students inciting a rebellion. Well, she's not here yet. And Principal Leonard should be back any minute now. Excuse me. Mom, before you say anything, I need to talk to Principal Leonard. Well, I think that's a good idea. You do? Well, yes. Joe, you're standing up for what you believe in. Even if you're in trouble with the school, you're not in trouble with me. I'm behind you too, Joe. You didn't happen to bring any lunch out with you. Oh, never mind. Ah, Mrs. Talbot. How good of you to come so quickly. As I explained to you, your son has been causing quite a bit of commotion. He has been fomenting bad behavior, and... And he's been acting the way his father and I always hoped he would. I have to tell you, Mr. Bison, I am very proud of my son. I can see where he gets his stubbornness. In any case, he has violated my regulations. Well, according to my regulations, I discuss my son with the principal. Whew! Ellen's arrived in the nick of time. You know, every so often, even heroes need help. When Maid Marian was captured by the sheriff, Robin agreed to take her place. It looks like we may have to hang you after all, milady. Go ahead, then, you coward. <laughs> I'd expect no less from you. Boo! Oh, shut up, will you? Sheriff, I'm here, and I accept your offer. My life for the freedom of the lady. Finally, a responsible act from you, Robin Hood. Take him. Robin, you shouldn't have come. I couldn't leave you here, my love. All right, let her go. No. What? I said no. I'd rather keep her and hang you both. I can do that, you know. Hang them! <laughs> Men, defend me! Marion? Come along, Sheriff. Don't you want to join the fun? Seek the outlaw Robin Hood. Are you he? I am, Your Majesty. Your Highness. I had just captured the villain and was about to hang him. Were you? Had you done so, I would have hung you myself. Good Robin. Your timely payments have freed us from captivity overseas. We owe you much for that. It was but what any loyal subject would do, Your Highness. But many did not. We thank you. But still, you are an outlaw. Much has happened since you left, sire. And the laws were no longer protecting your subjects. So I did. I do not regret what I have done, sire. Nor should you, good Robin. Perhaps you would enjoy aiding the poor inside our law. Your Majesty, think of me as a member of your family. <laughs> Did you hear that, men? We're no longer outlaws. The king has returned. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Enough! Quiet! 
Leonard, please! Excuse me. Principal Leonard... Ellie! Listen, it's all my fault. I didn't even... No, Joe. I need to take responsibility. Principal Leonard, I gave you a proposal to set up a donation food plan. I'm the supervisor. That is my area. Why hadn't I seen this proposal? I didn't want to burden you. The food was just going to be thrown away. So I helped Ellie bring the food down to the food bank. I'm sorry if my son violated any rules, but I support his effort. Well, I've heard enough. Ellie, you've been involved in every charity activity this school has undertaken. I'll review your proposal and get right back to you. Can you return to work tomorrow morning? Of course. Thank you. And since your son is already involved in food donations, would you please become our first parent volunteer? I'd love to. OK. All right, everybody, I believe it's lunchtime. Yeah. Okay. Would you join us? Oh, thank you. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Bison, I need to see you in my office. Yay! Ellie's back! Let's eat! No, Wishbone. You can't go to school. What? No, I... I'm a fourth grader here, really. I... Hey, don't let the dog suit fool you. I'm just practicing for the school play. Hey, open up! Mark my words. Someday I will eat lunch in school. Many stories like Robin Hood call for fights. But on TV, a good fight is very different from a real fight. It might look like a riot, but every single move is carefully planned. Everyone is told exactly what to do by a professional fight coach. It's kind of like a dance. And like a dance, it takes a lot of teamwork. It's just as tough to get hit as it is to hit someone. And no one actually gets hurt. See, the only way to win this kind of fight is for everyone to do their jobs perfectly. That way, everybody wins. Even us big stars have to practice. Of course, my pal who plays the sheriff isn't really trying to slice me. Uh, right, Sean? I'm not taking any chances. Robin Hood, an exciting story and a great book. <laughs>